So here we have it, our original first NPC. And if we go in here, we'll find that, hey, here's our image. And if you recall correctly, we can go through all these images and we can select whatever person we want to use for our NPC. Furthermore, if we go to this text right here and go to our face image, we also have an assortment of faces we can use. But all of these are the default faces. And what if you want to create your own custom face? And judging by the title of this video, you already know, this video is about the character generator, which you can access by going to this little icon right here and clicking on it. Once we do so, we will be brought up to this huge assortment of all these different pieces and things you can do inside the character generator. Right here is a face, right here is a overworld generator sprite thingy, and here's a side view battler stuff. And so, using this, you can generate your own face. It's very simple. Choose a section or thing you want to manipulate, click on the icon or thingy you wish to use. You can even select a color. Keep in mind that some colors are over global for multiple different pieces. For example, the front hair and the rear hair share the same hair color. Of course, the rear hair also has a subcolor you can use. Furthermore, you also have stuff like the eyebrows which are going to share the hair color, etc, etc. And so, as I'm talking about this, I'm probably speeding up the video while I create my own character. So. Let's, as you can see, it's it's happening. Yeah. And once you're done creating your amazing character, all you have to do is click on these four buttons right here to export each piece of the character. So if we go to face image, we click export, we can export our face to something like my face. We'll hit save and it'll be good to go. Next we can go to walk character, we can once again export and go to my character, as you see right here, and once again save the file. Then we'll hit close, we can go to Badler, we can save our Badler by going to export, and guess what? My Badler. And that's really all you have to do. But, here's a thing we might want to figure out. If you may have noticed, when we actually export this face image, we had all these blank spots. And if we go outside here, we can find that, hey, our export image only has one person right here, but all these other ones had like filled with eight people. So how can you make it so we have multiple faces on the single image? And the answer is, we can actually do something called import, which is going to have us import one of our things, then it could be have right there along with our new face, then when we export it again, it'll export these two faces on top, like so. So now that we've done that, as you can see, our new file has both faces on top of it. So using this, you have multiple choices. You can make multiple characters on a single file, or alternatively, you can also give your same character multiple expressions by changing your, say, eyebrows, something like this, changing their mouth to something like this, and that can give them a completely different expression for the face image, in which you can use later in dialogues. Now, like I said before, you can also use it for different characters, but what if you want to switch your character, but you don't want to lose all the stuff you did for this character right here? And the answer is, you can actually save your character settings by going to save settings, and this will just open up a thing that allows you to save your settings. Now, I would recommend not just putting them all right here on like the basic area where our, our game files are. Instead, go right click, create new folder as you see right here, go to new, go to folder, and create a thing called generator stuff. And here you can input all the generator saves we want. So we go in here, we name our my person, and we'll save it as a .json file. And when we do so, even if we close out of here and lose everything, if we go back, we have to use the load character settings right here to load the character, go to my person, not Jason, and it loads everything perfectly for the male, or we can go in the female and do load settings and load the female right here. As you see, it worked perfectly. So, if you did want to have multiple people on the same file, all you do is create another person, I'll do so using randomize, all we can do face image, import, We'll import the old face images, we'll export the new one with the guy on top of it. We'll once again, save over the same file, so it overwrites it. Do the same thing with the walk character. We'll import. We'll select our original walk character, which you can find right here. We'll export it with them side by side like that. Save it under the same file name. It'll ask us to overplace, and we'll say yep. And then we do, now the battler, it takes up the entire file, so you can't really share the same file. You just have to export it as a new thing, so my badler 2 and we'll save it as that now if we want our npc to look like our custom character very simple go to our npc's image go find our file which is my character select on the one we want to use for this one for example then for all the dialogues we have to change your face which is going to be a little bit more tedious to do but if you want to make sure you don't have to do this make sure you use all your character generators from the beginning and then have them used as your faces later on so as you can see here, we can input all of our face for our new character, and that's good to go. Now, the final thing is, okay, cool, we made it so our NPC is a customized character, but now how do we customize what we really want to customize, which is the player character right here. And the answer is, we're going to go into the legendary database, which you're going to click right there. 
when you first pull up your database, you're going to find this section called the actors. And these are going to be the characters that you play around with on the screen. Now, as you can probably tell, we're going to do something very simple. We're going to select the face place, and we're going to choose this face to be the face of the person we want to use. If you're going to character place, we're going to replace it with the character we wish to use by going right here. And finally, for the battler, as you can probably guess, we're going to go find our battler and use it as this character's battler. And of course, while you're at it, go and change the name of your actor to whatever name you want to give this person. For example, I'll name this person... That's our person's name. Now, you can also give him a nickname, and we also have the class, the profile, the initial and max level, and all the initial equipment. We'll get into this later, but for the time being, all you need to know is that you can manipulate what your party members look like by doing this, and going through and switching it for all of these. And that's really all there is for this video. Now let's go test out and see how our game looks now. And as you can see, now we have our new character, which is going to be our main leader of the party. If we go into our menu, we'll find them just listed right here at the top, along with their name. And if we go to our NPC right here, we'll find that, hey, our NPC also is now an NPC that works and stuff. And yeah, that's really all for this video. Until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial End.